<laughs> yeah. I so want to rub your ears all of a sudden. I want to <laughs> rub your ears again. <laughs> it's been too long since I rubbed your it fuzzy has. wuzzy ears. It, it <laughs> <has>. <laughs> and on that creepy note. <laughs> <laughs> Meeting a yearned and all that crap. All right, oh, Lord, I said a yearned. Good luck. Yeah. Good luck and have fun, honey. Right. Yep. Go yeah. rest up. I'm pretty sure I'm getting kicked out there. Okay, well, bye. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's done. Sweet. It's done. What the heck time is it? Can I go get some water? Oh, it's hour nine. Sweet. Let's go get some water, woman. Uh, it's done. They agree. Uh, in fact, they are all on board, and it's even more so than uh, we were hoping. You know how we're just like, yeah, at least we're all just, um, uh, you know, just just truce. Uh, but hopefully, we can get a little attack squad to focus on Ray. Uh, they are all on board with that, but upped. Okay, looks like Ray day fourteen. Hello, Hannah Bunny. Aloha, Azalatuza. Oops, oops. Er, ah. Uh, <laughs> oh, so it is, uh, hi I logged bang. in and I heard bang 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 I'm like uh uh why yeah I'm, I'm I'm stuck oh oh I logged in on your black steel bars oh whoops no no you're fine you're fine that's just where I logged out at your tushy apparently creepy <laughs> Creepy. Oh, look at this beautiful, 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 beautiful load you've got here for us, darling. Oh. Go ahead. I'm having difficulties with this stupid thing. What a glorious, glorious day. You're having difficulty with your thing, and the first thing I say is, ah, great. <laughs> what a glorious yeah. day. I am so excited. Uh, this is our last last day. And then the finale all yep. all today. All today, man. Oh, look at that. Two year. Another another damn one about to bust. And that one's steel. Yeah. Oh, this I was actually gonna try to process unshaped. some more process some more ore this morning. Look at my beautiful, beautiful food. Still sitting here perfectly Yay. preserved. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that is nice to have one less thing to worry about as far as that goes. Oh, so yes. Oh, so yes. Okay, so I did not get the sleep that I should have got. I am a tired, tired puppy still. Hi, piggy wiggies. Um, but totally, yeah, totally so jazzed. I don't know. I figure, Case I of rum wouldn't be a bad thing, maybe. <laughs> So you you are like I said, uh, I know I'm the leader and I'm the one that's got to you know make the calls and I've I've really tried right. to to make the calls, but I really want everybody's feedback and input and I'm I'm totally willing to say I have not thought of everything I do not know everything so if you have right. something good uh, to say you know I mean my say. my thought on the the f finale is if buffers and Falaron really want to do it together because I know they've they play together more because they're both European. Yeah, well they've done I a totally lot of things understand together, that. Yeah. But then, you know, if if you know, I think the second choice team, if them two don't want to say dibs and they are one of them doesn't you know, because I know Falron's not a big PvP. -er. I know Buff likes to scout and stuff, but I'm not sure how much he likes right. the PvP part. You know, yeah, less Unless Buffers really wants to be onto one team, I'm I'm thinking that might end up being our our sponge runners is them too. Well, we'll just see. You know, we'll see what their thoughts are but, on that. Yeah. But, oh, oh, oh. My second choice sure would be. Yeah, go ahead. My second thought or second would be would probably be me and Falron would be the next. Uh, yeah, you know, up. and it totally, uh, it, yeah, it's up there. We know Cammy wants to be on the attacking team because she said well, in the yeah. beginning, "Gimme, give gimme give PVP." You know, uh, right, she was like yeah. calling right out, "Hey, I am, I am your PVP person," uh, and so we know that. Uh, come on, man! I know we have more freaking. I I know we have. There you are. There you are. You come with me, sugar canes. 
Um, I was um, say I, I'd only put a couple of sugar in the cow pen because there's so much. Right. There's not a whole lot needed. Right. And I've already converted uh, the vinegar a couple of times myself. Yeah. And same I always here. leave whenever I do it. I usually leave an empty or a spare sugar for next time. There you go. I'm having a serious problem with these gates like double clicking when I just touch them once is driving me a little bit batty. Oh, but, they're uh, just hopping to it for you. They're like afraid that you're gonna hurt them. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Because you know, you know how I am That's as a right. leader, man. Exactly. You just better get your ass in there and do what I tell you. Practically <laughs> killed me yesterday, and you've killed Falron. I mean, yes, yes, the murder. I'm afraid. So, like I said, uh, my preference personally is to be in the PvP slaughter. Right. But, but I fully went in expecting uh, until last night when it was just deemed to be two, two diggers. Until it was determined to be just two diggers un until last night. Oh, man, I left and I didn't leave the damn sugar in there. Um, <laughs> until last night, I fully anticipated being a sponge, being one of the diggers. I just went, yep, yeah, okay, that's going to be my role. I'm going to be down there. Um, and we would, you know, carefully choose the, the rest of the people. Uh, you know, right. did you want to be an attacker or a defender, etc. But now that it's, now that it's, what the hell? The mystery, the mystery, really? I've got this bucket just randomly appearing in my hand that I, <laughs> oh my lord. <laughs> I'm walking away. The ghost, the bucket's on this team, man. The bucket situation on this it. team. Don't Yeah, because that's the thing. I've, I've To save seven minutes, it's not worth saving seven minutes. We've still got seven hours. Right. We have, we have time. <sighs> Don't yeah. risk There's it. just a couple things I'd like to do. It's like. The, the, I still have to finish up making armor, which is what I'm focusing on now. Nice. I still have to have to have to make our heads and feet. Right, and right so, there, right there, right there, we have 73 leather. Leather get leather nice. done, done. Well, I mean, do we? Do you want to start napping the leather into outfits and? Oh, uh, actually, them blue? actually, actually, don't you have some blue? Uh, I, I am gonna grind up some lapis. I was just looking for where the heck that was. Did it get moved? Ah, oh, it's down in the. It's in, in the, the yim. It's in the image. Yeah, I was thinking about that. I thought I saw it in the shiny chest. I'm not going to. Uh, I was thinking about napping it. In fact, I even started to yesterday, napping it already. And Buffers is like, you, we might want to nap it there to save us the trips. Because think about it, baby. We're going to have to haul butt. Oh, yeah, true. The, the leather stacks. The leather stacks as. Right. That the outfits won't. Yeah. Because I had actually thought about that with this last uh, bit of metal. It's like, do I process all the pig iron and then just bring the pig iron and all the stuff with me and finish the outfits there. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. But because I mean, a forge isn't that hard to build. It's well, just, yeah, but the, but the out, but those outfits, I mean, yeah, we could even put that on us for running it. You know, that that's not that big a concern. Um, right. Getting it made. Well, I'm just talking about, you know, time wise, you know, if I'm coming down to the last hour, do I want to be making our last pieces of armor at our base or making it there at the, the middle type of thing? Because I mean, all that I need to do is is make a forge there and take the the red ingot anvil with me. That's all I'm using is the anvil in the forge. Oh, yeah. So what is that? Oh, we I thought of a loophole. Dracket has genius thought. Go ahead. Yeah, we need all the loopholes. Yeah. No, um, well, we thought of well, a loophole that could be bad. Clarification is basically <laughs> there's a rule that you can't shoot into bases, but there's no rule about shooting out of bases. So technically, someone can stand in the base and shoot at you, and you're not returned allowed to return fire. I think that's fine because that's what what Ray has hit up his base for. I can see. Well, yeah, as soon as Draka said that, I'm like, yeah, that's what those well, little but, yeah, sniper holes if, are. But the thing is, everyone's is... everyone's against Ray's team, then they can basically all stand inside their base <clears throat> and yeah. just stand there sniping and no one can return fire. The thing is, here's 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 my point. As long as people realize it's allowed or, you know, because I'm sure not everyone had thought about, you know, that... My know. point is, the rule, the spirit of the rule is, there's the monuments are safe. If somebody can shoot out from the monument, but I can't, if you can hit me and I can't touch you, then you have immunity on a one sided basis. That ain't right. So if there, you know, so to me, it's just sort of a no, you can't, there can't be any PvP in or from 
it's sort of like it's it's the same thought right. you know basically i kind of think that's what everybody that that was the right. intention I think to begin most, with i think some people would assume that that's what the role meant but right. That other people would look at it and think of the loophole, and so that's why I was asking clarification. Is right. I didn't want well, to. Well, we don't want any cry foul mid round that hey, right. wait a minute, there's supposed to be no PVP in the monuments, but you're PVPing from, and now I can't touch you. And I understand right. that people can just dance in and out of their door if they want to dance in and out of their door, but that still gives right. you a chance to get them when they step out of their door, you know. Uh, my my whole point is it's not fair for you to get touched if nobody else can get touched in return if you can't return fire but right. you know oh crap i was afraid of that i broke it what one of the one of the corn the, the wheels on one of these uh corn oh broke. yeah i've been well, kind of spacing out my yeah that, that's not that hard to replace if you wanted to even bother replacing well i'm not it even gonna point. bother replacing it i say it just it just sort of stays there um yeah so anyway uh we were just getting some clarification before it starts so there's not the whole uh hey wait a minute you just shot right. me from in there and i can't shoot you back this isn't fair uh and of course the, you know the same thing is um um basically it's a don't be a dick rule here okay folks i mean not to try to be crude yeah, or anything but, but if <laughs> it's just like it's just like siege camping you know you don't want to just right. you know don't be a dick don't let them not leave their bed let you know let them run out but the way they've made the monuments it's it's not a very big safe zone so but nope. you have to expect it's reasonable to expect if the whole point goal of getting the sponge back home is to get the sponge in the monument people are going to be chasing you and it would suck to suddenly have a barrage of four people shooting at you and there's no way of stopping them that you know there's no way of shooting back or defending or anything um right. So anyway, uh, the rule hasn't been fully clarified or determined, but it has been brought up for discussion and clarification. My other question is, uh, would you please, please, please uh, tell me what your preference is? Would you prefer to be on one of the two diggers or would you prefer to be on the PvP front line? See, I'm working out a clan here for the diggers, so I would I saw be a you digger. had said that. You would prefer to be a digger? Because I'm yeah. working out the technique now to yes. make the tunnels and stuff. I thought you were gonna lean towards digger, or like I, uh, because of the. Um... <laughs> we're gonna be arguing over who gets to be the digger. So the other team be arguing funny. over who has to be the digger. That's <laughs> funny. Like, no! Well, Drac I, I would like to be that a I digger. Me, you, and Falaron would be the ones. But we want to weigh in on Falaron. But I didn't yeah, know. Yeah, first off, I wanted to be a PvP because I like that. Yeah. But I really want to win this. The underdogs must win. So I need yeah, to make see, a plan that's... now. <laughs> That's what I was thinking too. Is it would be sweet to win and, and to work towards you know, that I'd sponge, like mining, yeah. So yeah, now that we have uh, Ray at bay, so to say. <laughs> Ray at bay. So to um, say. Yeah. So I, I kind of wanted your opinion. Now I'm not sure what Falaron feels like. So I'll you know we'll talk to him when he comes back. Uh, Falaron, I half expected to want. I, he's always said he's not a big PvP or guy, but at the same time, I half expect him to want to get in there and just you know smack it up so i'm not really sure uh what he's leaning towards but uh it's basically going to uh, and we well we know that cammy wants to be a pvp -er. yeah and uh i would prefer to be a pvp -er, but fully expect to be but i just sort of like before it was determined to be only a two-man um digger team i fully expected to be you know one of the you know one of the sponge one of the digger people yeah. Um, but that said, uh, I would personally prefer the PVP, but I was willing to just go whichever, you know, whichever spot needed it, um, I'm good with. So I'm a happy camper. If we've got people who really want to be the diggers, then I will be the PVP and, and you know, and, and be with that team. But like I said, we wanted your, your mean, thoughts. If we have time, we could always come up with a strategy and then test out a couple, you know, we have, there's three guys it, that want to do it. We can pair up a couple of the teams and see which team is just more efficient at doing it because sometimes it's just communication is going to be part of it well yeah and that's one of the things i wanted to say i don't i don't know necessarily you know that that's definitely a thought i mean hell why not you know whatever we want to do my my thought was let's try because you guys are both talking about wanting to get a cobble room and do some practice runs my yeah. thought was let's actually try to get some of that with the people who were saying you know they want to um 
they want to be on that team. Well, let's 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 coordinate some practice time. You know that? I swear, oh, yeah, that's... this cow chest is eating all of the damn buckets. Every time I put a, bu put a bucket down, I've got like a ghost bucket up here in my hand. I think we have found this chest is the ghost bucket chest right there. That that that's where our buckets are going. That chest. But is I would eating. like to see you guys kind of pair together and you know practice. Uh, even if it's more than than two people, just to get kind of get the kinks out and figure out, yeah, do you actually like doing this? Do you know what's the best plan of all of the ideas that you guys had? But definitely, buffers, Drac. I'm feeling the same way you are. We want to win, and now that we've got this worked out, where literally there are three teams going after three sponges, it is yeah. much more evenly balanced. Assuming as a that chance. the attack team does a good job of. Of keeping of them at bay. Of stopping them, too. Right. Because, yeah. Right. Of keeping <laughs> them at bay. Because that's the other concern, you know, if, if it's not very organized and race team sees that, you know, so you know, the three different, they got spun. Because at first, they may not realize that, you know, if there's 15 people attacking you, you may not realize that there's, you know, six There's still people, people working on, yeah, that there are still six but people working this, on the sponge. Right. Then all of a sudden, you know, they might just think they we decided for the, the 30 minutes that you have to crawl that we're just going to attack them instead type of thing. Right. So right. they won't know for sure what we're doing. And of course it starts. We done good, you know, because <sighs> I was really, really nervous. Um <clears throat> But I really feel like even the black steel, that is a that is a respectable, you know. Yes, it is. That and is did you notice armor. what corner we are in what uh, no, to no, race no. corner? What corner are we, we are in? in the opposite corners. So that's yeah. good. Yes, that is good. We have the two for teams the... on each side. That is good for bringing the sponge home, baby. That exactly, is exactly because we have our allies on each side. Yes, that is excellent for bringing the sponge that's what, home. That's why I think we have a chance. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I'm going to go up to get some more cobblestone from that other uh, um, chest up there. Okay, so we're not... Uh, we have so many barrels. I think bringing a couple of barrels of water just for the convenience there at our base yeah. to, to have... Uh, bar yeah, barrels. I almost said buckets again. Isn't a bad thing, so I'm going to go ahead and bring uh, a couple of... Come on, lag. Work with me. So I'm, I'm suggesting you. you go a little bit uh, south and then heading towards spawn because that means at, at south. If you're going straight or north, it's just willow forest and uh, mountains, basically. Okay, so one more time. Your 50 or 100 blocks to the south and then just head to spawn. Okay, so move to the south first and then yes, chuck just a little it bit. to spawn. Okay. Yes. Okay, I, I, I take this advice, good That's sir. That's way easier, because there's just willow forest all the way, and oceans, and mountains. And pain in my butt. Uh-huh. Okay, so I can handle that. I can run out a bit, and then and then go. Okay. I am just so excited. I really do feel like, you know, there there's no, like, a defeated sensation. I, I really feel like we got a serious... Uh, shot, you know? I have only one uh, worry about. It's uh, if we meet Ray in the center at the sponge. Right, right. Because we are covered on both sides with our allies. This this is this is true point. So if um, you can make there in, uh, in a good time and get back, I think we can win this. I'm not that, kidding. That is, uh, yeah, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm not either, man. That's, that is an actually a very, very valid point. One of the things to consider, um, I'm going to go ahead and leave you here. One of the things to consider, though, is um, if we meet Ray in the middle, we uh -huh. might also meet, uh, you know, you've got just as much of a chance of meeting Ray in the middle as you do of meeting the other allies who got there, you know, too. So, yeah, but they're not going to kill us. Right, but they're they? not going to kill us. No, they're not until the first, not until the first so. wool is placed. But remember, after the first wool is placed, Oh my lord, we don't know what's going to happen. Yeah. You know, we don't know what's going to happen. They could turn and and smack each other. I don't suspect that's going to happen. I suspect everybody's going to want to go back to their own bases or do their own thing. You may have mm -hmm. people that just stand there and keep harassing. Yeah. You know, that they keep harassing. Oh, uh, Ray, I, I don't know how that's going to go, but basically nobody is under any truce at that point. It's everybody else get their thing on the monument too, yeah. you know, protect your team. And I'm worried about uh, people go in into our tunnel and 
yeah, harass us from behind. But the only people we have to worry about that from is Ray. Now, yeah. depending on how you do your... Around. Now, I'm still thinking our diggers need to have, um, at minimum, I'm still thinking our diggers need to have, at minimum, uh, um, steel maces. Because yes. until you just act, in case, yeah. well, to defend yourself, because yes. until you actually get in the situation where you're in that tunnel, maybe Ray does peel off. Now, we're opposite him, so they'd have to go all the way around past the other two teams dipping in you know, uh -huh. tunnels to get to us. But remember, uh -huh. there's still the three high roof on top. You could throw some ladders and get across the top. I mean, it's a sphere. That, but I this still is want Minecraft. to see that three high roof. I haven't seen it yet. I've been there now for a whole day. Right, but because we can't actually climb say. up there. But it is, and that was one of the things I clarified yesterday, because I also had some people on Skype poking me going, uh, isn't that completely sealed in? But it's not yes. sealed in. There is there is space. Okay. So you could theoretically, because it's Minecraft, there is no round. You know, you could theoretically put ladders, hop yeah. a couple, you know, ladders, go forward. La yeah, over, you could yeah. just ladder it up and run across. It's not that difficult to get uh -huh. to the other side. So we are not yeah. completely, hey, yeah, we're safe. It's no problem. Uh-uh. I do not. I definitely don't feel it's totally safe. Buffers, you'd be proud of me. I do know how to sprint. It is possible. Oh. I'm sprinting nice. and I'm yumping. <laughs> By the way, your advice was absolutely perfect. A hundred blocks out south. I went about 116, but then I'm kind of weaving back yeah. and forth a little bit. There are some mountains coming, <clears throat> but it's way worth north. Way worth yeah, and so since you, I mean, you have made this trip a bunch. Yeah, I figured while I was making the five trips yesterday, I just take Find different paths. Find the path. easiest way, yeah. Well, definitely. So that, that 100 block south, 100 block-ish south, and then just, yeah. you know, straight on home to spawn. Yeah, it's worth that's, it. That's worth it. That is so worth it. So we got to pass that on as other people uh, come and go. Meanwhile, we're basically at the last five hours. We need to get yeah. oh we need to get our our base actually made at the monument. We need to get our um <sighs> our heads and our booties made. We need to get a round of food uh from the farm cooked up and brought home and cooked up. Yep. And we still gotta figure out, you know, our exact plan of attack. I did watch a video uh from the uh for the <gasps> sponge run. There's a lot to do. And I can't believe I'm going to be gone for like an hour and a half, but I have appointments, so. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, got to be done. But uh, it, it's crunch time. I, five hours is still a lot of time, but as we found out, man, making the armor stuff still takes crap time. So you and know we'll probably doing. need to do some math and get and figure out how many beams we need and make sure we have... Yeah, I, I have all the coordinates more. written down, so right. I know where the sponge is approximately. Right, like. and it is a 200 right. diameter sphere, so I mean, we can definitely, you know, right. practice that basic, that you know, yeah. use that those numbers for our, our calculations, etc. But yeah, yeah. <clears throat> ultimately, we can figure a lot of stuff out, but in practice, working in practice, <laughs> you guys got to be able to work together. Um, yes. Yeah. And one of the things that uh, Drac was saying is <clears throat> if Falaron and Buffers just feel like they're going to, they've worked together a lot before, if they just feel like they're going to, you know, be able to uh, work together and they really want to do that as a team, you know, then, then he's okay with that. Although he really wants to do the, do that particular uh, job. So, well, yeah. hello world edit. Uh, well, so basically there's, there's not much to do in the tunnel funky. other than digging. Right. right and see that's that's kind of you know, digging <laughs> i think is the fun will pains, be outside so. but the inside yeah. is important the fun will it, be it outside. is oh absolutely right. but the inside that's why i was a pvp guy before but today i just thought this is important we can do this yeah, yeah. I, I, and you know you're doing the work to sort <laughs> out the plots and, and kind of do the calculations and you know that's great you guys want you'll need you know, so i'm leaning towards it being you two but i'm not going to like flat out assign that if uh you know if no you know, i'm fine with whatever but okay yeah as if you know, if there's going to be any issues between you two then I, then you know let's let's well, mix it up now well as long as she promises not to make any american jokes because you know, <laughs> those europeans are because i'm known for american jokes yeah that's right. more feller on i think i know i'm just <laughs> <joking>. <laughs> oh 
Hello, bear. Hello, bear. Don't notice me, bear. Don't notice me, bear. Don't notice me, bear. Don't notice me, bear. Um, Probably there to visit the bear, the bear punchers. Oh yeah, oh. you 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 go you go nibble on the bear them bear bear punchers. I I sacked myself willingly willingly to the bear on TFC Tuesdays. <laughs> he never growled at me, so I think I kind of ran out without him getting all excited. But um, I'm about two th- about twenty five hundred blocks away from spawn right now. With yeah. the first mm-hmm. trip, um, we definitely got to get trips, man. We got to get trips. We got to get practice. We got to get armor, Bye. whatever yeah, anybody I, can do. I just got home with with the stuffs. Awesome. For you know the rest of the charcoal and gonna start working on on that. I mean, if there's all right, buffers, if you want to start working on making a practice for us, I mean, yes. I've been trying to start saving uh, cobblestone. I put some in a dirt chest. It's in the right. Um, um, forge area because I was coming home from mining and I was like, well, if we're going to be doing some practice, I might as well not throw away this dirt or the cobble. Uh, yeah. So I kept a bunch of cobble from Bunny, that. I'm at the farm now. Yes, ma'am. I, oh, awesome. <laughs> awesome. I, I may have taken a few stacks of that to give us some basic walls. What, the cobble? Well, there uh, yeah we can always make some more cobble it's no problem no we problem. have a ton of rocks yeah but the, yeah there was well, some no, I'm, basalt I'm cobblestone the no 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 okay, there was some basalt some cobblestone the... yeah just because right. um i buffers is like you know, let's just get some cobblestone to be able to at least protect oh it's fine uh, get basic walls because we can always change them out to make it pretty we, but we yeah. have three red steel pickaxes we can make a shit ton Exactly. Well, yeah, and we do have a lot of rocks that could just be, you know, one, two, three, four, you know. So we've got a double chest full of cobblestone. Right. So I'm not worried if if you took a couple stacks. Okay. That should be enough. So so Buffers is at the farm right now, and he is looking to come home with, 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 well, everything but bacon, I guess, Uh, to come home (laughs) with lots of veg and grain. Yeah. Uh, Drac, you just got back to base, so you got plenty yes. of charcoal and the last of the bits. You were going to be yes. starting on a, what I'm the last of the on, armor? Yes, ma'am. I'm working on processing ore and getting that done because okay. Um, it, it, and I guess you know we'll see how the time. I mean, we've got five hours. I, I feel like I sh- I should be fine, but okay. You know, I well, guess well, we I'll, still I'll do start need to the base processing, and then we'll see yeah. where I'm at in a few minutes. We do need to still. I mean, we do need to still make uh, our our monument protection is still going to be a little bit important too. I mean, it's right. not the whole end game, but we do need to get ourselves a bit of of look. I'm much more worried about functionality over over look. So yeah. it can be pretty, and if we have time to make it pretty, fantastic. Um, but if nothing else, it's going to be um, it's going to be workable. It's going to be functional, um, and, and it's going to do the job to protect us. And that is whoa, 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 whoa! What the hell? Oh, oh, oh! There was a wild berry bush. There was a wild berry bush. I just told it. I'm like, I don't hear a mob. I did not take fall damage. There's water right here. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Berry bush. I turned around. There's one lone berry just sitting there going, <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. 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 I thought you had said that was the point of you getting the charcoal and the, and the wood and stuff was, Hey, um, I'd rather have this stuff to work on the armor now than run out right. mid mid right, batch. Yeah, I, that's one of the reasons why I made such a big charcoal pit. I'm like, if I don't have to worry about people, attacking me while i'm doing this i'm going to just make a, a huge right. one i didn't right. realize it was going to take twice as long to burn i didn't either I'm that was a surprise a i mean it was a long time i don't know if it was three days it was at least two days oh due to the lag maybe no i don't know if it was lag too but it, it may have been a little bit of both but days were going by so i mean okay i don't know but it, it definitely I mean, it took a long time for that to burn, but it's the biggest pit I've ever done too. Is an eight by eight by two at least. Now I, I don't came think back with a ton of charcoal. Yeah, you said like nine and a half stacks or something. I don't think yeah. we're gonna have to make too many trips. I mean, everybody's gonna have to come out here to the base. Right. So, uh, yeah, everybody comes with you know with with some basic stuff. I don't think we're gonna have to make too many trips. I focused on. Um, uh, I do have another bed. I focus on some chest, on some racks. I do have the two blue steel buckets. Uh, I yeah, did that, go ahead and grab fine. those because that's just water bucket. You know, I did go ahead and grab those. Um, and oh, that's the lava buckets. Or yeah, right. He has the one red 
uh, red one. Right. The whole blue red thing in my head, I always reverse them. I know they're reversed right. intentionally that from their colors, but I'm always thinking in terms of that. So we, you know, we do have a couple of the lava buckets that we can have. Uh, I have a, just like two barrels and uh, you know basic wood buckets to be able to have some water. I brought some clay, a vessel full of clay, so we can uh, make. Uh, we're gonna need jugs. Not so much the vessels on us, but we're going to need jugs, 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 jugs. Yes. But, uh, okay, so we kind of have our work cut out for us, but I, I do feel like we have enough time. I feel like it's tight, but it's not impossible, you know? No. I think we're going to actually, you know, have a little breathing room to spare, you know, but there's there's a ton of stuff, you know. There's a ton of stuff yep. to do. 